Hello and welcome to Grandad's Storytime. Mr Worry's Christmas by Roger Hargreaves As it got closer to Christmas, everyone was busy getting ready for the big day. A thick blanket of snow covered the roofs of the houses and large flakes of snow fell all around. Who do you think was the happiest at Christmas time? It was Little Miss Sunshine. Happy Christmas, Mr Strong, she cried out when she met her friend. But where are you going with all those Christmas trees? To Mr Worry's house, he replied. He's terribly worried, you know. And he continued on his way. You're late, Mr Strong, worried Mr Worry. I've been so worried. I'm here now, replied Mr Strong. There's no need to worry. Oh, but there is, said Mr Worry. I've got a great deal to worry about. Come in and I'll tell you all about it. What do you think of my tree? asked Mr Worry. It's marvellous, replied Mr Strong. You don't think it's a bit wonky? asked a worried Mr Worry. Yes, a little, replied Mr Strong, but it's not a problem. I've seen lots of trees that are far worse. Oh dear, worried Mr Worry, then we must do something about it, quickly. If we don't, all of beautiful trees, Father Christmas may be angry. Come with me, Mr Strong. Mr Worry picked up a box full of Christmas decorations and rushed out of his house, followed by Mr Strong. Mr Worry knocked on Mr Mean's door. Hello, Mr Mean, he said. Do you have a beautiful Christmas tree this year? Yes, I found this one in the dustbin. Mm, three years ago, replied Mr Mean. It will do. But when Mr Worry saw the tree, he was more worried than ever. What would Father Christmas think? With Mr Strong's help, Mr Worry put up a splendid tree. A little later, Mr Worry called on Little Miss Tidy. Hello, Little Miss Tidy, he said. Do you have a beautiful Christmas tree this year? Yes, but, she replied, I just wish I could remember where I had tidied it to. Oh, that's, that won't do at all, worried Mr Worry. We'll put that right for you straight away. The next person they visited was Little Miss Scatterbrain. Well, of course, I've got a beautiful Christmas tree, exclaimed Little Miss Scatterbrain, when Mr Worry had explained why they were there. Come and take a look. It's really splendid. You call that a Christmas tree? said Mr Worry, very surprised to see a hat stand covered in decorations. Father Christmas won't be all pleased to work, Mr Strong. And so it continued for the rest of the day. Mr Worry and Mr Strong left beautifully decorated Christmas trees in every house in the town. Mr Worry had nothing more to worry about. Everyone had a beautiful tree in their home. Father Christmas would be delighted. But no, Mr Worry was still worried. He was so worried that he couldn't sleep. What if Father Christmas caught a cold, he said to himself. Or if he got stuck in the chimney. Mr Worry checked his own chimney to be sure Father Christmas wasn't stuck in it. The next morning, Mr Worry's worries were finally over. Father Christmas had been. Underneath the Christmas tree, there was an enormous parcel. Can you guess what was inside? A rocking chair, so that Mr Worry could relax a little. Thanks to Mr Worry, everyone had had a visit and a present from Father Christmas. Little Miss Tidy had found coat hangers under her Christmas tree. Mr Strong had found some very heavy weights in his stocking, but unfortunately Mr Worry 
was more worried than ever. Can you guess why? He was worried that next Christmas wouldn't be as good as this one. The end. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe, it's free, to support us and allow us to create more great content.